So now we're going to be testing for starch using iodine. So it's known as the iodine test. Again, we want to make sure we've got goggles. Um, so again, nice and simple. We're expecting a positive result for starch from our flour. So this is going to go in first into our spotting tray. We don't need to completely fill it. We just need a small amount. That's too much, if anything. And you've noticed I've completely cleared my spatula because I don't want to cross-contaminate. So ideally, get a new one. And we're also going to test for glucose, which should hopefully give me a negative result for starch. And I'll put that in the spotting tile there. Okay. Nice and simple, you don't need a lot of iodine. Just a couple of drops, and notice what happens to the colour. So here, we can see it's gone a really, really dark black sort of colour, whereas with the glucose, it doesn't change. So getting that dark black colour, dark, or really, really dark blue, is a positive result. If it doesn't change, then it's a negative result for starch.